Credit Boaters Outlet .com. Today I'm going to go over dock lines, difference between twisted nylon opposed to double braid. Also I'll go over bungee dock lines and what those will do for you and uh, the thickness of the rope you'll need depending on the size of your boat. So here I've got an example of a twisted nylon rope here and a double braid. Double braid is definitely the stronger of the two. It'll be a little bit more durable. You've got a nice braid on the outside as well as one on the inside so it's going to be super strong. With the twisted nylon, it's basically twisted strands of nylon rope, as you can see there. So it is strong, but if this ever comes unraveled, that can be kind of a pain. Also, twisted nylon rope tends to uh, stiffen up and yellow over time, but uh, twisted nylon tends to be a little less expensive opposed to the double braid. If you're getting a good dock line, if you're getting one from us, it's going to come with a pre-spliced loop in one end like that. Um, that comes in handy when you're coming up to the dock very easy to throw that over the cleat and then you got a nice splice in there that you don't have to worry about coming undone. Lock lines will come in different thicknesses so the the smallest that we've got is 3 8 3 8 I'd probably recommend for boats up to 20 feet if you want to go bigger than that say you've got a 20 foot to 35 foot boat I'd probably go to half and then I'd go to 5 8 if you got a 35 foot to about a 45 foot boat and then when you go to 45 foot on up to about a 60 foot boat go with a three-quarter inch rope. Dock lines are going to come in different lengths as well. Uh, 15, 20 to 25 are common ones. You know, I'd probably recommend, it's all personal preference, so you know, I know if you've got a cutty cabin, if you've got the cleats on your boat sit really high, I'd probably recommend getting a little longer dock line to be able to reach down to the cleats. Opposed to if you have a ski boat, you know, maybe the, the cleats on your boat sit about the same level as the dock. Um, you might not want quite as long of a dock line but it's one of those things that it's always nice to have you know more dock line than not enough we've also got these bungee dock lines here now these are going to take a lot of shock out of the line these have been really popular over the past few seasons because what they do is they'll actually take a lot of stress off the cleat and the fiberglass of your boat so it's not pulling as hard we also have these snubbers that you can get and these will feed your dock line will feed through the snubber this will take a lot of shock out similar to the bungee dock line um, but again, if you have that wet slip or long period of time, I'd probably recommend getting something like this. We have these in a bunch of different sizes that you can get. So that's pretty much it for dock lines. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us or call us. Come on into the store, but definitely check out our website at boatersoutlet.com.